Okay, so the objective of the unit testing is to reduce the errors and to catch any errors that we can introduce or our colleagues in the repository. And it's part of the continuous integration, continuous deployment strategy as everything is tested, the code is testing, is tested before deployed. So unit testing is our last line of defense. Um, if we have uh, human QA, maybe they will be. But uh, in many cases, the unit testing is the last line of defense. So any error that unit testing doesn't catch probably will not catch be anyone. So um, it's more security for us. As we want to work in the excellence, we need to implement security measures to make this uh, our code the best possible. So let, let's let's see this simple code which uses shutil to get the disk usage. So let's run this. Okay, it says that my hard drive has 40, uh, 467 gigabytes. Um, that I have free uh, 7 gigabytes and the percentage free is 1.5. So uh, as we want to have a code that is safe, sometimes we need to embrace um, or many times we have to embrace like refactor to make it more clear. So in my case, the first thing I will care is about variables. Um, so I don't know what um, type of variable this usage will return. Will return integer, float. I mean, I, I don't know by looking at the code. So what I do is use the M empty notation that I, I developed um, and I use these prefixes. So I use I for integer as I know that uh, this usage will return <coughs> always uh, uh, integers. So instead of doing this, control Z, control Z, control Z, what I'm gonna do is refactor from, from PyCharm, rename, which will rename all the variables, uh, refactor. Uh, it has rename all the usage, not just that one. So that I can run also a preview. So it tells me all the places where it appears. Okay, I'm all right. And finally, I will refactor this one as well. Okay, so now at least we know that we are working with integers. In the case of person free, it will be a float. So I will use float for the decimals. Okay. Uh, the code will not change, it will be the same. But how accurate is this? Well, um, we, have, we are doing a, a mistake, which is calculating the percentage free based on gigabytes, which has already been truncated. For example, if I print um, the total gigabytes with decimals, I can see, so it will be total just the normal division, not the integer division. And this will be multiplied by 100. Oh, sorry, no, 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 not multiplied because I'm not getting a, I'm not looking after a percentage. So I see that is 467.95989. So almost 468. So as things have been truncated, uh, we might expect a different uh, variance in the real percent free that I have on the on the disk. So if I do this, um, okay, this I free versus I total, um, I will get the new percent free. So let, 
let me do it more clear. So we see that that's 1.63% uh, and not 1.5%. So that was mm, the previous calculation rounding was not very truncating, was not very accurate. So that's the first um, thing to be con in consideration, to have in consideration.